What I hope the audience takes away from Program 4 is really how different ballet can be and how it's not this preconceived idea. It can be tutus and crowns and peak tights like Raimonda. It can also be funny like the concert and it can also have artwork and artists coming together from, from different genres to create a, a ballet. Jerome Robbins' The Concert is actually a study or an examination in different characters that go to a, a live performance. So it's the uh, individual that comes in late, it's the individual that leaves early, it's the individual that eats during the performance, it's the individual nowadays that's actually looking at their iPhone and, uh, and reading their text messages. And so he puts all these characters together and he's actually helping us to laugh at them but also to laugh at ourselves. Miami City Ballet dancers are unique personalities on the stage and that's really what you need for the concert. You need someone who's a personality, someone who is not like anybody else and you have to have the ability to really become a character. You have to have the ability to actually really act. And so we're, we're a company that we're very strong in the abstract neoclassical works, but we're also very strong in the dramatic roles. And so the concert is really right up our alley. Raymond Variations has no story in it. it. It really is just music and dance. And so that in itself, a combination of those two, is enough for a uh, performance art, which is really in, the, in keeping um, with Mr. Balanchine's philosophy that um, dance doesn't need anything else. It just needs music and the steps. And in terms of an audience member, um, you have two choices. You can keep your eyes open and take in the music and the gorgeous dancing and the beautiful people on stage, or you can close your eyes and just listen to this great music. The thing that I love most about Heathgate is that it involves dance, which is a, an art form that has tremendous tradition, um, that has a history, that has social graces, that has social manners, and an art form, street art, that is uh, new, that is uh, rebellious, that shows that ballet is not so elitist, and that street art can be found in other places and not just on the street. And it's one of the, one of the missions of Miami City Ballet to make our audience and our community understand that this art form is incredibly broad and it's incredibly encompassing and it's very democratic. It, it, it can bring in and it can withhold uh, the influences of other art forms.